Welcome to How To, a Quality Digest series for quality control and quality assurance specialists who need quick instruction on how to get something done. This episode is sponsored by Metatoil. And now Craig Howe uh, from CPM Labs is going to show us how to use a handheld digital micrometer. This is a high accuracy digital micrometer that Metatoil provided to us. The range is zero to one inch. The resolution is something else entirely. It's five millionths per division. We're used to seeing one ten thousandth of an inch or fifty millionths. This takes a, a couple steps further. <laughs> a little bit Five further. millionths of an inch. <laughs> Actually, the resolution affects the way you use this because everything shows up when you're down in the millionths range. They recommend using it in a stand as opposed to handheld, but there are some situations you need to handhold. They provide a little heat shield. I'll get to that in a little bit, but they provide it in a nice wooden carrying case. They have cleaning papers because you, you need to clean this when you, when you first start. And let's go ahead and get right onto a gauge stand, which is how they recommend using it. So I'll go ahead and mount this on there. And in this case, you don't need the heat shield because you're, the heat of your 98.6 hands is not going to be touching it. Instead, we have, you know, 3,000 watt we have light lights bulbs. shining on it, which I'm sure have no effect at all. So the first thing I would do is I, I clean the ambles and spindles with alcohol on a nice lint-free cloth. And they even have these little cleaning papers that they provide with it, which is just another, Mitsutoy is great about that, just another neat thing they have. We'll take this and draw it between the two to just take off any particulate. And how often do you do that? I like to do it before each critical measurement. Okay. Now we happen to be just about zeroed. We're five millionths off. <laughs> Funny I'm saying <laughs> that on a handheld device. But anyway, so now we're zeroed down to the down to its resolution. And you would you would take measurements throughout the way and you could write those measurements down as you take them. Okay. I'm assuming that there's some sort of a digital output on this as well. Yes, Mitutoyo has a digital SBC output, so you can use a foot switch, that sort of thing, and just the, put the reading Center. right into your- Computer, yeah, okay. Right into your spreadsheet. So, one of the, another features on here is the ratchet thimble. They always suggest using the ratchet thimble these things are so sensitive that if you didn't, they actually have a calculation for over-pressurizing, how, how inaccurate your measurement will become. Yeah, so something like one Newton is an additional 0 .1, 0 0.1 micron, micron but, error. <laughs> but it's starting to show up on these things. Yeah. So here, I've got this one under the heat lamps. Yeah. <laughs> what can you expect? We're within five millionths of an inch. Okay. I guess among friends, we're gonna have to call that a good measurement. Okay. <clears throat> So normally these are, are done in a stand. You want to use this usually two to three clicks is typical. I like to sort of ring the part as I go. Okay, now does orientation? <coughs> orientation will come into play on these. These are so accurate and they resolve so much that the direction you hold it could affect the measurement, the, the weight of the piece you're checking could. So when you're, when you're, when you zero it and, and so forth and get ready to start your measurement, you want to do that at the same orientation that you're going that you're to measure your part, it. is that what you're saying? That's okay. always good practice on any, any micrometer, especially as you get into these okay. ultra high resolution, ultra high accuracy. So we, we, would, we would zero at that direction. Uh, the base frame on this is very rigid. It's made, to, it's made to work with five millionths of an inch. If it wasn't a very stable, rigid frame, if they cut right. any corners, it wouldn't work correctly. That's why I noticed this is a much bulkier uh, micrometer than what I'm used to seeing, e even with their other, uh, their, their other uh, newer mo uh, models as well. It is, let me show you how you would handhold it because sometimes that's what it takes. That's why it is a handheld mic. <coughs> Excuse me. They provide a heat shield, which separates you from it. You would bolt it in, it has two little bolts in the bottom. And usually I will hook my ring finger in as I'm working the micrometer. This one's a little bit larger. I switch over to, I switch over to my, my pinky. Instead of the ring finger, it wouldn't quite, I, I wouldn't be able to adjust the thimble quite right. as well. So this is basically how I would be holding it to do handheld measurement. And without this, they even give a spec. These are so accurate and so sensitive that if you hold it with bare hands for 10 minutes, it's gonna grow about a half a micron, which is about 20 millionths. That's gonna show up on there. That's four right. digits on there. Wow. So this thing for handheld, this is how I typically hold it. 
Some people say, well, why don't you just use two hands? It's stabler, and it is. Occasionally, you'll need that other hand to hold the part or to bring it in or something of that nature. Okay, wow. So we always suggest wearing gloves whenever you're handling either the micrometer or the part because the thermal expansion of the part that applies to when you're holding it. We normally wear cotton gloves. In this case, I'm just using a, a plastic type of glove for this filming, but it's always good practice. Okay. Well, Craig, thank you very much. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Thanks to our sponsor, Mitatoyo, for supplying the high accuracy digital micrometer. We will see you at the next How To. As the world's largest provider of measurement and inspection solutions, Mitatoyo America Corporation offers a complete selection of machines, sensors, systems, and services with a line encompassing CMMs, vision, form, precision tools and instruments, and metrology data management software. Mitatoyo's nationwide network of metrology centers provides application, calibration, service, repair, and educational programs.